So I flew Scandinavian Airlines recently from Los Angeles to Scandinavia, the Nordic countries, Denmark and Sweden. I also flew back to England and I flew to Ireland and I made a stop in Poland as well. I've been traveling a lot. I want to talk about my time in Sweden and I will say that I had a wonderful time. Um, here's what happened. I found that there were a lot of Eritrean and Ethiopians in Sweden. I was made aware of this um, some time ago, so it really wasn't a shock to me. It was a welcomed uh, revelation. Anyhow, I made sure to stay close to the Ethiopians and Eritreans while I was there because I didn't feel so warm and so comfortable uh, around the Swedes. Um, I don't know much about their culture, their language, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, I just didn't feel, you know, a kinship, a warm, a warmth between or or with them. And to drive home that point, I remember I was walking uh, alone down the street, and some little kids noticed me. They noticed that I had um, gone to the supermarket to get some groceries. I was taken back to my accommodation, and I could hear them saying things like. Oh, uh, Africa man uh, went to the supermarket walking, and and it was a very, um, a very odd, you know, uh, position they put me in. Hearing these things, I thought, what what are you talking about? What are you saying? And it reminded me of my experience when I was in South Korea, when in shopping centers or what have you, and encountering Koreans, the Korean children would look, point, and say. Weguk saram, or they would say, Africa saram. They would say, foreign person or Africa person. And they would really make you feel like an other and not really close to them, who they are, and, and whatnot. And so this was exactly the same um, situation I felt myself in in Sweden. So after that experience, I went to uh, Lalibela, the restaurant in. Um, Sweden, and I shared my my woes uh, with the brother there, and he sort of comforted me. He said, "Oh, you'll have a much better time in Sweden, uh, brother. You know, forget about that experience." I said, "Okay, I will." So that was very cool. Thereafter, I just enjoyed my time, but I did make sure to return to Lalibela to eat and to fellowship with the Eritreans and Ethiopians. And it was time well spent in Sweden. So check it out. Ethiopia is home to followers of all three major monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Indeed, Ethiopia's Coptic Church predates even Rome as a Christian state religion. And Kwanda Namet at the Stockholm Sweden Lalibela restaurant. Through the Zinora Chalazi Stockholm Lake about that Chura Laiba restaurant, through Ethiopia Magufagin Yalach. What if your entire purpose, mission, career, success, and happiness depends upon you being the most unique and authentic version of yourself? Think about where you're from and the experiences, good or bad, that shaped you into who you are today. Visualize all the strong qualities you gained from your neighborhood, family, and friends. Gratefully reflect on all the people that have supported you along your journey. Embrace your roots, celebrate your culture, boldly share yourself with the world. That's what Nipsey did, and that's why he is held up with names like Malcolm and Jesus. If you love Nipsey, celebrate him by emulating and embodying everything about him that was great. Move with honor, be a person of principle, be authentic, show love to all people, honor your elders, Fight for what you believe in, never give up, and don't rob the world of your unique gifts and story. Connect with Nipsey and tap into his frequency when you listen to his music. 
when you watch his interviews, and when you read the books that he read. Attune yourself to a higher power through prayer 